welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and before we get into today's episode number 298, I have two Medal of Honor recipient birthdays for this week, starting with Command Sergeant Major Robert Patterson, whose birthday is tomorrow, April 16th, 1948. He'll be turning 72, also turning 72, but on the 18th would be Staff Sergeant Don Jenkins. Both Robert Patterson and Don Jenkins turning 72 this week from the Vietnam War. So a very happy birthday goes out to them. Now, before we get into today's episode, as usual, when I have a very short episode, it's usually because I cannot find any information on the person. Today's one of those days, and I do apologize for the short episode today. Uh, I did the best I could with what I have, so let's move right into World War I, episode number 298. And now, a tale of honor. Lewis was born on the 23rd of March, 1873, in Baltimore, Maryland, and sadly, not much information is known about his early life, military service, or life after the war. He did join the U.S. Army in Princeton, New Jersey, and he was an officer when he deployed to France in support of World War I. It was his actions with the 308th Infantry, 77th Division, on the 14th of September, 1918, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Volunteered to lead his company in a hazardous attack on a commanding trench position near the Aisne Canal, which other troops had previously attempted to take without success. His company immediately met with intense machine gun fire, against which it had no artillery assistance, but Captain Miles preceded the first wave and assisted in cutting a passage through the enemy's wire entanglements. In so doing, he was wounded five times by machine gun bullets, both legs and one arm being fractured, whereupon he ordered himself placed on a stretcher and had himself carried forward to the enemy trench in order that he might encourage and direct his company, which by this time had suffered numerous casualties. Under the inspiration of this officer's indomitable spirit, his men held the hostile position and consolidated the front line after an action lasting two hours, at the conclusion of which Captain Miles was carried to the aid station against his will. It is probably safe to say that Lewis did not serve in the military after World War I, or at least not for much longer, as he is listed as not reaching a rank higher than Captain, which was his rank during the war. Lewis Wardlaw Miles died at the age of 71 on the 26th of June, 1944, and is buried in the Greenmount Cemetery in Baltimore, Maryland, Hemlock Section, Lot 49. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.